everybody! We're doing part three of the Legion of the Damned Fluff Reading. I'm going to get right into it. This one is The Hunt for Truth. Speculation as to the Legion's nature runs rampant amongst the cognoscenti of the Imperium. A few scholars of Adeptus Astartes' history have intimated that the Legion of the Damned is a psychic backlash made real. Events such as the Istvan massacres or the death of a Primarch were so traumatic they left a permanent scar on the psyches of all of the first founding legions. So these theories run. A scar so deep it has permeated not only the chapters that came after them, but hundreds of successor chapters since that tumultuous time. The space marines that have remained loyal to the emperor since that time have a deep-seated belief that those who betrayed them should be made to pay for their transgressions with fire and fury. It is quite possible that the librarians of the Adeptus Astartes tap into this belief and make it real, whether by accident or design resurrecting the ghosts of their fallen brothers and giving them a chance to wreak their terrible revenge. These scholars believe it is a chapter's burning conviction that the guilty must be punished that gives the phantoms of the Legion a physical form. There are radicals amongst the librarians who have a similar theory though they believe the Legion of the Damned is a kind of consensual hallucination, and occasionally even manifestation, conjured by mankind as a whole. They believe the subconscious power of hope is so strong that when combined with the nascent psychic abilities that lurk within humanity's minds and a stimulus of imminent death, it can potentially be made reality. Central to this theory is the idea that though a single man may have but the tiniest shred of spiritual or mystical ability, the uncounted trillions of humans that populate the Imperium all contribute to a kind of psychic reservoir that can be tapped into its extremists, even by those who do not realize they are doing so. The Adeptus Astartes have come to embody both hope and terror to a beleaguered Imperium, and the form of deliverance and vengeance alike. It is the broad silhouette of the Space Marine. The theory is reinforced by observing that the aspects of fire and death that are associated with an Adeptus Astartes are made manifest upon the armor of these conjured warriors. If the theory is correct, their weapons are no more real than the apparitions themselves. Yet the psychic fires that shoot from half-imagined bolters are real enough to burn the enemies of mankind or even to blast them bodily apart in the manner of true mass-reactive ammunition. Such is the latent psychic power of the common man. And then the prologue. <laughs> they are creatures born of the warp, that much even a child could divine. That they wear the shape of mankind's vaunted defenders is a matter as immaterial as the warriors themselves. They are demons, and they must be brought low, just as with all their malefic kin. Altark Ilune Starshaper A darker premise held by Inquisitor Quixos before he was slain by Gregor Eisenhorn 
is that humanity's omnipresent faith in the emperor has bestowed upon the master of mankind a cast of supernatural agents, just as the dark gods of chaos have demonic servants made of the same soul stuff that sustains them. Quizos theorized that the Legion of the Damned were shards of the Emperor's will given form. Furthermore, the Inquisitor's writings posit the idea that these angels mortis can take a number of forms, just like the demons of the ruinous powers range from the diminutive to the colossal, and that their greater forms have yet to be recorded. It is said that when the deserving and the devout find themselves on the brink of death, these spectral warriors will emerge, blazing with the fires of the emperor's immortal will. However, Quizos maintained there is, there is plenty of evidence that almost every legion appearance which has happened in an area where the metaphysical barrier between real space and the warp is thin suggested a kernel of truth behind his claims that the legion are creatures of the immaterium. Quizos, Quizos' premise, was widely decried as heresy at the time, and after his death, purged from Ordo Malleus' records. Yet, it somehow lingers on. There you go. Next, we'll go on to the next chapter. I hope you enjoy it. And quite honestly, even though I haven't read it all, I'm going to guess they're just not going to tell you really who they are. Time travelers, demons, whatever. I don't think at the end of the codex they're going to give you a final answer. But it's fun to guess! Bye!